Hey everybody, Shanta's here. Kids, it's time to get in line. Well, hello. Hello. What's your name? Abby. Abby. And you? Isabel. Isabel. And you? Ryan. Ryan. All right. What do you all want for Christmas? A library full of books, and each book has at least 150 pages. Wow. That is something else. I think I can do that. We have a great library at the North Pole. Let's see if I can pick you out something. Horseback riding lessons. Horseback riding lessons, okay. And can you think of anything else? Just horseback riding, okay. And what do you want? Um, a semolina, a rocket chip, and calico quitters. Okay, do you want a real submarine, a great big one? Or can I just bring you a small one? Um, can you please just bring me a a uh, pretend one to play with. Okay, I'll bring you a pretend one. It would be a little big for your yard, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. Nick loved the Christmas season. Starting the day after Thanksgiving every year, he became Santa at the palatial downtown mall. It was a bustling commercial center, and there was always a long line of children anxiously waiting for their turn to see Santa Claus. Curiously, Nick found the children all the same because they were all so unique. Some kids were confident and talkative. Others were shy. There were children who cried, children who laughed, children who giggled, children who bounced, and some who were very still. Well, hello, ladies. How are you doing? Are you ready for Christmas? Yeah. I'm excited, too. I can't wait. And y'all look so pretty today. You're all dressed up in your finery. What, what do you want for Christmas? A scarf. A scarf. Is that all? Can you think of something else? Not right now. I can't. Okay. Well, i tell you what I'll do. I've got a special room at the North Bowl that's got surprise gifts in it, okay? And what I'll do is I'll go in there and pick up a surprise just for you, something you never thought of, okay? Okay. All right. And what about you? What would you like? I would like a new copy of the newest Warriors book, The Blazing Star. Blazing Stars, New York's Warriors book. Okay. And is there anything else you can think of? Hmm. I'm thinking of headphones, but... Headphones. Okay. I'll surprise you, too. And you're going to surprise me by going to bed early on Christmas Eve, right? Yeah. Because you know I can't come see you, you or can't come visit until you're asleep, right? All right, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Boys and girls, big and little, each child arrived cherishing at least one burning desire for that one gift that would make this the most perfect Christmas ever. Nick challenged himself to discover each one's greatest hope.
Often, carolers would sing in the mall, filling the vast hallways with music of hope and cheer. Nick enjoyed listening to the hymns in the background. On one particular day, the choir and orchestra from a local church were contributing to the Christmas spirit, and they were pretty good. Uh, pretty good? <laughs> okay. The music was so exquisite that it sent Nick into outburst of delight. Oh, ho, ho! <laughs> See? Well, hello, how are y'all doing? Good. You ready for Christmas? Yep. What's your name? Brenna. Brenna. All right, what would you like for Christmas, Brenna? A stable with a pony. A stable with a pony. Okay. Uh, you want your very own pony? Yes. Oh, Santa rule. Uh, I can't bring any live animals unless I have a note from your mom or dad, okay? <laughs> okay. 
Have you got a second choice? Mm -mm. I'll be waiting on that note from mom and dad, okay? In the meantime, I'll pick something out and surprise you, all right? All right, Merry Christmas. Hi, what's your name? Elijah. Elijah, what would you like for Christmas? I would like a balloon gun. A balloon gun? Shoot up balloons all over the place and be like, ha ha, a giant bit of balloons. <laughs> so you want to go shoot other children's balloons? No. Okay, just yours, right? It just shoots out gun, I mean balloons. Oh, okay, I got it now. I think I know what you want. All right, and uh, are you going to leave me anything for Christmas? Lots of cookies and milk. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Now, Nick didn't personally keep two records, one for the naughty and one for the nice, but he had a pretty good idea where each child belonged by observing their behavior in line. St. Nick allowed that his opinion could be wrong upon occasion. Say if a child had been ill or overstressed at school on a given day, then he or she might unfairly be placed on that naughty list. On the other hand, a clever brat might be able to fake her way onto the nice list, but only temporarily. As I said, Nick allowed that he could be wrong, but he never anticipated meeting Linwood. Ho, oh, ho, ho, what's your name, little boys? Come sit over here. Linwood. Linwood, is that your first name or your last name? What's your name? Well, you don't know what my name is? Are you real? Why, sure I am, and my name is St. Nick. This question, Nick could handle several times a day. Santa, Santa replied, of course I'm real. Do you want to tug my beard and see? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Linwood said, you're equating facial hair with authenticity. Having a real beard doesn't make you the real Santa. Let's put it this way. In Sunday school, I've learned that Jesus holds me in his arms for all eternity. Right now, I'm counting on you not to drop me off your lap. <laughs> Would you say that this is the difference between faith and trust? At this point, Nick felt himself beginning to slide upon a slippery theological slope. After a reflective pause, he resorted to an old standby. Ho, ho, ho!
little later that day, then we came back to visit Santa. Hello, Linwood. How are you doing? Hi, Nick. It's me, Linwood. Um, I remember you, Linwood. <laughs> is it okay if I call you Nick? How about Saint Nick? Is that a little better? Okay. All right, thank you. Ho, ho, ho. At this exchange, Nick began to ponder if there might be a special list for the kids who are not naughty or nice, just annoying. <laughs> Lewin wondered, Christmas is all about the birth of Jesus, right? So why are all us kids lying up asking for presents for ourselves? Jesus came to earth and gave us everything, his life for us.
said to Santa, on Jesus' birthday, we should give him presents. What kind of present do you give to someone who has everything and has given it all to you? Nick considered the rhetorical nature of Linwood's question before going back to his most reliable standby. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Wait, back up a moment in time. Before saying, ho, ho, ho! Nick whispered a suggestion into Linwood's ear, giving the boy a genial pat on the back, and he scooted him on his way and gave him a knowing wink, thoroughly chortling. Ho, 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 what a boy. a new tradition among the children visiting Santa at the mall, one in which each child could hope and wish and pray for that special present under the tree on Christmas morning. And also remembering the greatest gift ever given was God's gift of salvation through Jesus, who arrived in our world as a baby, unheralded, with no place to lay his head. Welcome, baby Jesus, on this, your birthday.